syllabus statement 316. Here we're describing the molecule DNA and we'll be looking at the nature of the genetic code. So let's take a position here on this chromosome. This chromosome is likely to contain thousands of genes. Let's just take one position on this, known as the gene loci, and expand out this small section of the chromosome. Let's expand it out like this so we can see it more closely. And what we find is a double helix. Okay, so a helix here and a helix here. So there's two. So that's why we call it a double helix. And they appear to be parallel. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in again and look at what's holding these two strands of this helix together. So we need to take a small section and expand it again like this. So we're zooming in with greater magnification. Now these sections here and here are known as the sugar phosphate backbone. No chemical details required. And what we also know is that in the center, we find a group of molecules called bases. And there appears to be four different types of base, uh, which are known as adenine, letter A, thymine, T, cytosine, C, and guanine. Now, in the molecule, these bases are holding together the two helices. And they're held together by pairing between adenine and thymine on one side, thymine on the other side, and guanine and cytosine. So if we inspect the model here, we find thymine and adenine. That's consistent with this one. And here we have cytosine and guanine, cytosine and guanine. These are known as the base, excuse me, base pairs. A to T, G to C. And this always is found in DNA. And these base pairs are gluing together one side of the DNA double helix with the other. Now can I draw your attention to just this side? And if we look in here, we can see, let's expand this out again, that the order is A, C, T, G, A, A, C, C, that's A, and G at the end. So on this side of the molecule, the order of the bases is A, C, T, G, A, A, C, C, A, G. So this is the order of the bases. Now this is a very important point because it's this order that we call the gene. The gene, remember, is inside the nucleus. So we have here a gene which can be defined as the order of the bases A, T, G and C and the number of the bases and we know that somehow this codes for the construction of a protein in the cytoplasm and we also know that somehow this gives us the characteristic. 
So the new information that we have here is that we already know the gene, the chromosomes are in the nucleus. The genes are sections of a chromosome like this. But now we know that a gene is, is the order of the bases on one side of the double helix.